Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a quick little KLJUYP project share. I'm so behind on design team projects. I'm just slowly but surely trying to catch up and just craft when I can. Um, but yeah, so this first one right here, I know you guys have seen, is this makeup one. It's like a little makeup palette. And um, you can totally make this, I feel like all the ones that I've seen, everybody's making these into shakers, is where you would use this piece. I did not make mine a shaker, so I did not use this piece. Um, you just cut this out twice and you'll cut one of the pieces off you'll cut these little folds off so you'll just have a rectangle then you're gonna run this through for your top piece um, of your palette and then you're gonna run this through in foam like a thicker foam twice and then you're gonna cut these pieces off and I just stack the foam you'll see what I'm talking about right now there's the little pieces so this is the new craft purge makeup palette <laughs> totally kidding um mac if you guys don't know what that is it's a makeup line um i don't know and it's everything's black with like white writing i'll insert a photo right here okay so i tried to mimic that and right here as you can tell this word says makeup and the way that the um the k um is that a k yeah yeah um the way that the k is shaped you could easily get your scissors and fussy cut it to make it a c and then i just cut off the e so it says mac mac is m-a-c like the real makeup um i did everything in black cardstock and then this is what it looks like on the inside Ta -da! so i cut this little piece out right here for the mirror in some silver this is that thick cardstock from um chaos craft and then in my little palettes versus making a shaker I still wanted it to be a box style I guess embellishment or whatever so what I did is I cut like I said I cut this out twice in foam um, and I cut these pieces off these folds off so I just had two rectangles and I stacked them on top of each other just to give it the depth of the um, the actual fold you'll see what I'm talking about um, it's this piece right here it folds so it's like I wanted depth there so I used black foam and then <laughs> I just cut this out in the black cardstock and layered all my little um, colors directly behind it. I just used, a, I think, a one and a half inch circle punch and just layered them all up behind there. And then you look, it looks perfect like that. Then these little sponge brushes I just did in silver on top of it. And then a palette, kind of like how real palettes are. There'd be a glitter and a matte color. So I did all the glitters and then like mattes. And I think this turned out so cute for like, it looks identical to MAC makeup. Well, in my eyes. It's the craft purge edition that MAC is carrying now. <laughs> so yeah, that is my quick little project share for that die. Oh, and then these little guys, they can you can make your, your project a little fancier, but MAC is kind of just plain and simple. So I didn't want to add these little scalloped pieces right there. Next, I used, um, okay, so these are separate dies. Let me get that out of here. So I used this tag die right here. It's a three-piece set with some corner pieces. I used the biggest, most giantest tag. And when I get these dies, it's five inches wide and a massive seven inches tall. When I get these dies, you know everything's like cute to me and stuff and I haven't really played with it I'm just showing my hauls before I start crafting with it but now that I've played with this I think it's a must-have like um, you could do it for swaps teachers gifts craft fair you can stick hot cocoa mixes in it I think it's a great idea to have this tag and then what's sold separately oops, are these I, there's two different there's three different sizes they're actually these little pockets right here so it makes like a um what are these flaps called accordion pocket yeah that's it so here's what i made look at the accordion pocket on the side so these are sold separately um there's three different sizes i use the largest one with the largest tag and then so forth those other tags the other ones work with the other two sizes cute right and then this one came with the die called especially handmade for you which is so so cute and I, I think it's perfect like I said if you're gonna make stuff sell stuff 
send memory deck swaps, all sorts of stuff. There's the little background layering piece for the handmade for you. And then the little pocket, I did not do it on this one, but this pocket, once you assemble it, you could do the layering pieces. You could do the top piece, layered it, um, and then all the little side pieces if you wanted. I did not do that just because I used a, a printed cardstock, so I didn't I didn't feel the need to like, you know, layer on the sides and whatnot. I used the Maggie Holmes. I haven't really played with it yet, but it's the Sunny Days collection. It's just had fun, summery, and metallics in it, like kind of like beachy theme. So I used the girl from there. But um, I used that paper, super cute, right? So I did especially handmade for you. I did it in a glitter gold. I stitched all of it. Um, I used the chipboard pieces from the collection. I used this bow from the collection that I thought was, you know, um, black and white or blue and white, but it's actually a blue and pink, just so you know. Then those little charms. And then this swap right here is a separate tag, separate die, I guess, that you would get. I mean, you don't have to buy this, but I just added it to this project. So there's the blessed, the happy, the friend, the male, and the swap. I used the swap one, and I just cut that. And I've been using my Xyren machine, you guys, like crazy. I'm so excited, and I'm so 100% happy with this purchase. I used it for this specially handmade. I used it for the swap part. Anything super intricate, it turns it into a sticker. So save me the fuss and hassle. So I think this just turned out so cute. I'm going to stick little embellishments in there for my my swap partner. Um, but yeah, I just really, I love this. Like It's like a fun, almost like a lemonade collection. Like I would feel like that's what I would compare um, Sunny Days by Maggie Holmes collection to. So yeah, that's, that's a little tag. I probably should have cut this tag. This is actually flourish paper. I should have cut this tag with 110 pound cardstock because it, I, you know, I added a bunch of stuff to the top so it kind of got floppy. I mean, I can still line it up with thicker cardstock as well. But yeah, those are the dies I used and those are the projects I made. Like I said, I'm slowly but surely coming back, guys. <laughs> All right, I will catch you on the next crafty video. Bye, guys.